Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a post content drop video for today, a little bit different. Usually I'm trying to stream around this time, but today uh, it's just not working out like that. It's a busy weekend for TFA, and I'll have a little more information on that on the end. But we have on our Sunday today a bit of a L content day on our hands. We have a Netherlands Nation player, a couple new icon moments, SBCs, and upgrade packs that I don't think a lot of people are going to see eye to eye with with EA. So I think we're not viewing the content today as very nice and friendly. But also I want to take a spin and look around the market and talk about some deals and why prices are dropping even further and how I kind of expect things to go tonight with the market because I think there's going to be even more supply coming later tonight with squad battle rewards and I'll talk about why in a second. But this is our SBC player that we have today, four star, four star, hot bower. Uh, a right mid card kind of looking, you know, like that Gullivan, to be completely honest with you. The, the price on this card, I think, is decently accurate. It's really interesting links. And for a Serie A right mid, you, you've had Chucky Lozano. Uh, you had some other cards, but not too many of them. I, I don't think this is a terrible card. 86 rated squad, 120,000 coins, most likely. Not terrible value, but definitely not the best, right? Not the best of what we're looking for. And uh, I think people are not going to do this SBC too much. Some people might for the Dutch Lynx, uh, but not the most popular SBC. Kind of two days in two days in a row of L's with the Batuai being a bit overpriced and just not that insane of a card. And then Hatabor as well, just not being exactly who we were hoping for out of these nation players, right? We had the Sweden nation player, which was dope. Jimenez was dope, or the, the three players from this. And I, it feels like we've gone downhill in the past two SBCs with these cards. So that's kind of an L today. Also, I guess you could chalk up to an L are the upgrade packs, an 82 plus player pick. The, the reason why this is an L is because it requires an 81 rated squad and 70 chemistry. So if you're going to grind these throughout the week this week, it's going to cost you some dough, right? Because I bet right now, even as we're speaking, as a couple you know minutes after the content drop, we're probably seeing 82s and 83s, maybe some 81s go up in price because people are going to have to go and, and buy those cards specifically to do this SBC. So I know that there are cards that are in packs and it, it doesn't make sense, right? Because EA is making all of these cards drop so much on the market with these preview packs with all the supplies coming out. We had more preview packs today, of course. We'll talk about that a bit. But the supply is just dragging these cards down, these card prices down so much. Why are we making the SBC content for the icons and for this 82 plus player pick? Why are we making that expensive? If you're going to make these cards cheap, make everything cheap, right? So that is a bit, I guess, um, we don't understand why. It's a bit confusing why EA is releasing an 82 plus player pick like this. Just re-release the one we had last week, right? With the same requirements. The rating contents of this SBC just make it an L. And I think a lot of people are not going to be happy with it. Now, the 81 to 87 is just gold uh, cards with four rares. So, I mean, these are going to be pretty cheap to do. But honestly, 84 rated cards are like 4,000 coins at the moment. So, if it, if it costs you 5k to do this SBC and you're not getting consistent, you know, 84, 85, or 86 or higher rated cards, then it's probably not worth grinding the 81 to 87 as well. But you do get five choices. So that's a small W on that one. And then, of course, the big talk of the day is the Icon Moments SBCs. Two of them new today. Big names, Thierry Henry and Maradona, which are big W in terms of the names. But I think what people are most upset about today is how expensive this Maradona SBC is. It is 389 rated squads, 388s, 387s, uh, 386s, I think, and then an 83, 84, and an 85. Just an insane amount of fodder that you need to complete Maradona. And it doesn't make sense, right? Number one, it is June. It is June. Fodder is cheap, so that's going to make this SBC not seem too terrible to go out and to complete. I'll be completely honest. If we go and take a look, I bet there's a price, or I doubt there's a price that has been loaded in for it yet. Um, but if we take a look at like Cantona, which I need, or even Garincha, how much is Garincha? Garincha is 1.89 million coins to do, and Cantona right now is uh, 1.8. 2.25 to do Cantona right now. So I know Cantona has got, a, you know, not the exact same requirements as Maradona, but he's got, a, he's definitely, you know, up there in terms of, of value. I mean, this Maradona SBC, he's 3.3 3 million coins on the market right now after he's, after he's dropped off a lot. Um, I honestly think that that card off the market might be just the better value. I mean, you're going to get a lot of packs back and stuff, but it's just going to take so long to get that Maradona and, uh, yeah, I really don't think that SBC is. He actually 3-3, three, 3-2-7. Three, three, so 
people might be buying this today because this Maradona was literally, if we take a look at his price graph, this guy was just 4 mil. And with the market crash that we've had recently, he's really dropped off. He was 4.2 million coins uh, on Friday. 4.2 mil on Friday. And right now he is literally down over a million coins because of the SPs today and just the general panic selling that we have seen on the weekend, right? He was 3.6. Uh, yesterday bouncing to 3.8. This morning it was 4 mil down to 3.6 and now he's down to 3.2. So, I mean, you might see some more bounces around on this Maradona price because he is a very high in demand icon, but people are just upset today because of the sheer price of the SBC and what it requires. So, I mean, we'll keep an eye on this. If you see this down like 3 mil or below 3 mil, you know, there's definitely going to be an opportunity to trade with this card today, in my opinion, because so many people are going to be thinking about that Maradona SBC. Uh, and they're probably not going to want to do it. Now, Henri, um, who actually was being panic sold a lot today, there were some undercuts at like 1 mil flat, I believe, that I saw. Right now, he's back to 1.1. Now, his SBC isn't as bad of value. I think it's a lot more sensible, right? Because I believe it's like an 80... It doesn't require as many squads near as many. So if you're an Arsenal fan, French um, fan, connoisseur in FIFA, maybe you go for the Henri SBC. It's only eight different squads. You have an 81, 84, 85, 87, 88, 89. So it's definitely not cheap, but you know, um, it's definitely a less daunting task than doing Maradona. So, but for both of these icons today, I still think they're a bit overpriced, even with fodder being a bit low. If fodder were to ever go up again, uh, like a lot, then these guys are going to be just ridiculously expensive. So that's why I think people are just not super happy with the game today. It's, it's going to feel like there's not a lot to do on FIFA today. I'll be completely honest. Now, of course, the preview packs are out again. Um, I did my preview 50k pack while the lightning round was going on. This should be the last day of the previews um, for the lightning rounds, of course, because lightning rounds usually end on Sundays. But tomorrow on Monday, we'll probably have a refresh of these prime gold players pack or premium gold players pack, maybe a mega pack or something like that. There will probably be two promo packs sitting here in the store that people will still be able to preview tomorrow, which is still going to bring a little bit of supply to the market for PTG cards. So what's going to be very interesting to see is um, if people are expecting, and this is where we're going to learn a lot about the a lot about these preview packs and how they're going to affect the market. It's how people are going to react. Oh my gosh, this is the Don is down so much. Um, how people are going to react daily to a non-weekend with with um, with the lightning rounds and just a promo pack or two. I'm really curious to see how people react and how the market reacts. Now, of course, with lightning rounds again today, I mean, look at this Firmino. He was all the way up in the 1.4 high range last night. I bought one at 1.2 flat after the uh, the games yesterday. And sold him overnight for 1.3 high. Um, you know, even Havertz was selling at like 1.9 mil, and now he's down to 167. Just a lot of market drop off in general on in packs cards and out of packs cards. Messi's getting destroyed at the moment. This might be a slight bit of panic because of Maradona, but I feel like if there's people that are, you know, wow, 183 for Messi. I was looking at him earlier today. He was down a lot already at 19. So, you know, that could be something that you watch out for today. But a lot of the stuff on the market just keeps dropping lower. Now, you can fluctuation trade with it. I bought a Goretzka today at 1.68, and it looks like right now the cheapest Goretzka on the market is about 1.9, which is where I was hoping that he would bounce back to. So let me take a look at this and talk to you about some of the trades that I made early this morning. Because if we're having daily content uh, and, and daily supply like this, then you're going to see market movements and panic like every day. Yeah, 1.93 for Goretzka. So what I'm going to do here is... Go find my Goretzka that I bought, and I'll show you how I bought it. I got it for 1.685. I'm going to list this at 1.9, and that would be a beautiful trade if I can make that happen uh, right there. We would take that. I, again, I'm holding off on that Dominson Sanchez a bit, and I'm just listing Yaziki for fodder, although I, I do know Turkey just scored a goal, I think, uh, at the moment. These are the cards that I traded last night. Bought this for 500k on stream. I bought this uh, Hazard for 668, and I bought this Firmino for 1.2. I also bought this Eto this morning for 828. So that was a really nice flip as well. That's the kind of trades and the flips that you can do on this market right now. Is find some of these rare cards, these icons when there is panic selling. And since they're so rare and there's still some demand for the weekend league, uh, you'll see some of them bounce back. So one of those Maradona's sold. Um, and, you know, that messy card would be somebody who I'd be watching right now, depending on what this panic is for. But, I mean, literally, Messi was like 2 million coins, 2.1 mil just two days ago. So, he was holding in like the 2 mil range even this morning. So, I mean, 1.8 flat for Messi or maybe even if he dips under 1.8. And if, if my uh, Goretzka would sell, I'd get very, very involved there. 
Uh, you know, you've seen some bounce backs on cards like this Vieira. He was down at 500K flat, and now he's back up to 575, 600K-ish. So there's definitely opportunities to trade. Now, what I would watch for today or tonight on Friday as well is, yes, we're going to have this supply for the PTG cards. These cards are going to be getting packed today just like every single day. And these guys are going to get so cheap today because of lightning rounds in the next couple of hours. Um, but what you're also going to see is more supply tonight at squad battle rewards and that is because of those objectives that have come out this week like you can see felix was like 520k this morning he was 580 last night down another hundred thousand coins especially some of the low tier cards like militao i mean he's not really low tier but like claustrum getting pummeled in price today Chillwell's back to like 70k paredes is 60,000 coins with the great links that that card has but again, even with the lightning round supply today, I think that's going to drop the cards. And then later tonight with squad battles, because everybody's been grinding out these games, the Europe, the Asia, the Americas, and the Africa uh, milestone objectives, they're just going into beginner squad battles. Um, and some of these require you to play in squad battles on semi-pro difficulty. Uh, and it's really easy to do, which is why a lot of people are doing it. Um, but that's going to bring some more supply. I mean, I was even doing this earlier this week. I'm sitting at Elite 3 in squad battles right now. It's insane. I'm gonna actually going to probably stay in Elite 3, which is going to be nuts, right? And that's a mega pack and two 25k packs and 12,000 coins for my squad battles grind earlier on this week um, to get those those packs from the objective. So it's a very, it's a W grind, those objectives, in my opinion, because if you go in beginner on squad battles for a lot of those, you can score 30 to 40 goals a game uh, and knock two of them out easy, right? Because you need 15 goals a game uh, per nationality, basically some of them, I think you need 20, but I think the, the squad battles games that are played this week is going to bring some more supply to the market. We saw that last week with the PTG team one. So if I had to guess for today on Sunday, later in the day, what you're going to see is these prices dropping off a bit. They've already dropped off again a lot. Um, they've also been panic sold into 6 PM. So there's some people that were expecting more supply today that are, you know, seeing that supply. Um, I would 100% watch these cards. Now, if you're going to buy any tonight during squad battle rewards, what I would say is keep a lookout for guys like Wijnaldum, Firmino, Eder Militao, um, you know, and Hazard, right? Hazard, because those guys are already on two wins. Now we have one card right now that is on two wins but of course they are playing live it is Verratti and Florenzi the Italy game right now is at 1-0 Switzerland's up 3-1 goodness me um but Italy is up 1-0 right now and if they see this win out if, as long as they don't draw or somehow lose uh which is looking promising at the moment then this Verratti card will be the very first one to um attain upgradable status Verratti and Florenzi so this card's up a lot right 500,000 coins he's basically like 480 but what you're going to see is I think you're going to see a lot of undercutting people are going to start listing these cards as they already are right in the second half you're seeing the 80th minute for this game he was up at 500k flat earlier and now he's down to 480 so I think what you're going to see is um some selling on this card I would really watch him post game if his price dips down a decent amount like I'm saying maybe like 40, 50, 60, maybe like 40,000 coins because this upgrade is guaranteed. It's the same thing we see with ones to watches all the time, right? They have a good performance. Their card shoots up in price. Then actually people start selling after the game because the card is up. They just want to take their money on the investment. So you see a peak, then it comes back down and a lot of selling happens right after that game. You might be able to buy in that low point as people expect that upgrade later on in the week because this card's not getting upgraded today. It's going to get upgraded on Friday. We're going to have to wait all the way to Friday until this guy would go to a 96. Uh, but again, that plus two potential is going to put him into the 90 pace category, high 80s defense and mid 80s physical. So it's going to make this card look even more cracked. Um, so that could be something you watch out for today. Same thing with even the cards that are in packs, right? Again, like I mentioned, the hazard. I really feel like this card is just very cheap uh, for, you know, a 700,000 coin live item, 95 rated that could potentially go to 99 if they win the Euros. Um, I mean, two on two wins already and Belgium play, I believe, uh, tomorrow. Belgium play tomorrow on Monday. They play against Finland. So I would seriously watch this Hazard card. Watch your Thorgan Hazard as well. And your Netherlands cards, as we mentioned, like Wijnaldum, 100% be watching those today and tonight with that supply coming in from Squad Battle Rewards. And as for the rest of the market, like I was showing you with some of these Team of the Season cards, and some of these icons, how much drop off that we have had, you can still absolutely trade with these fluctuations, even though uh, the weekend league is going to be ending, you still have a lot of people that are like 
panic selling, listing cards up for low bids, um, and and undercutting a lot. Like this Messi right now with the Maradona is absolutely crazy to me because this Messi card was two million coins literally just this morning, and he's already down to like one eight lows. I mean, I think you're gonna you have an open bid listing there on that Messi, um, like that Goretzka that I got in, in the one sixes. Of course, where is he at right now? Uh, mine is the cheapest at 1.9. So if we get the sale there, that's a W. This Mertens was in the low 500s, mid 500s, and he bounced back to basically 600,000 coins. So 5.95 right there. There was a great fluctuation. Now I bought an Etel this morning at 8.28. Again, sold them at 9.27. So just a ton of great fluctuations on this market right now. And that's the way that you want to be trading 100%. So I've been doing some of that myself. And if I get this Gretzka sale, that'd be massive because that'd be a huge Huge confident booster after losing. I still have a lot of my losses here on my transfer list as well. I lost on all these Carlos Albertos, lost big on these Phil Foden's. That was like 300K loss per card. Um, but a lot of this stuff are, are quick flips, right? I bought this at 500. I bought those on the Friday. I bought this at 1.2, this at uh, 668. So big W's and some big L's. That's just the way this market is. And it's going to be very interesting to watch the rest of this week this week if. Um, we are going to see continued panic every single day, even though the promo packs shouldn't be supplying the market too much. Um, I think that there, there's something to be said about um, just every single day having these packs get refreshed inside of this game and uh, inside of of the pack section because it's basically giving you free packs and then you decide later if you want to buy it or not. It's insane. So that's kind of what's going on with that stuff today. That's kind of just the pulse of FIFA right now too, is that the market is down so much. If you're wanting to know, hey, should I sell a card? I mean, usually Sunday nights are some of the worst times to sell cards, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, you know, you've seen some price drop off so much already that if it's a card you're going to be using your team for a long time, just, just hold on to it is what I would say. But I mean, it depends on the content this week. Today is definitely not a good day in terms of where we would look to be headed throughout the next of this week. If the content today is such an L, which it is, does that continue throughout the week? Do we turn it back up? I mean, who knows? We will see. Uh, but a lot of these cards have dropped off so much just with this market crash in general. Uh, and so, I mean, if you really, really, really want to sell a card, it's also June, so you could say, whatever, I'm going to take the coins and deal with it. Um, but, you know, I, I would just be careful, right? I'd be careful because a lot of this stuff is down. I think there will be some team of the season cards that will get so low tonight. It will be a huge buys. Like I'm really watching Alfonso Davies. I'm kind of watching Kimmich. Again, you had some of those Byron links with the Lucas Hernandez PTG objective. Um, Coleman as well would be a card I'd be keeping my eye on. So I'd definitely be looking out for some of that stuff. De Young is a mill, dude. That's another card where I'm like, yo, that's really, really cheap where this card has been. Could it bounce back? Absolutely. But also, it's a Sunday night, so your, your bounce backs are not going to be as insane. Don't expect prices to go back up to where they were, you know, maybe during the, the middle of the weekend league because the demand is a lot less too, um, of course, because of the, the weekend league being over. But again, the reason why those cards are dropping so much still is because these Path to Glories just keep dropping, and these PTG cards are the brand new thing. Everybody wants to get involved with these. And yeah, that's just what's hype in this game right now in FIFA is because they're the brand new cards and they're so freaking cheap, dude. These cards are so cheap. It's unbelievable. Now talking about SBC fodder in a sense as well with the rewards tonight, I would venture to say that fodder is probably going to be a good buy. I really think that it is. Now with that 81 rated squad requirement, your 81s, 82s, and 83s might be going up a little bit. Uh, but of course, some of your 84s, 85s, 86s on bids tonight during squad battle rewards is going to be a fantastic time to get them, I think. Um, because if we do have any content coming this week, it's kind of the same fluctuation schedule that we have had for the past couple weeks in this game. The past three weeks, to be honest, is that cards get low on the weekend for fodder. You can see here Sunday, Vitzel's 5.2K goes up to into the 7K range during the week, drops down the next weekend to 5K, goes back up to 7.8K, almost 8,000 coins, and is now drop even, dropping even lower into the 4K. So, you know, you might see these 84s get back up to like, seven eight k a piece later on this week depending on what content drops but definitely would do a club stock on some of this stuff and they did require team of the season cards again um they did require some of these team of the season cards again so some of your fodder tots cards if people are actually doing um you know some of these the maradona or the uh 
or the Thierry on SBC might be something that's gone up a little bit in price today too, but I really don't think it'd be that much because I don't know if there's that much hype for it. Again, 30,000 coins for Zimmerman. I think that's still still around where he has been, but if we have more um, SBCs this week that are requiring team of the seasons, I would seriously look into some of these cards because I think that this could be a buy window for some of these cards that are, again, not getting supplied unless EA is going to supply them on the market and they release a new pack code, um, then I wouldn't be expecting those cards to drop that much more just off of panic selling. So yeah, very interesting. I can't believe this De Young is down so much, man. It's actually crazy that he's under a million coins. I think the Dembele SBC hype really pulled this guy up and now he's really dropping 970. I mean, if I see low 900s, that's a no brainer for me. I think he goes back to a mil, but that's kind of the pulse of this market right now. You got to get in and get out on quick intervals on rare cards that are, in, that are still in demand. So that's going to be kind of your best place to go. Look for undercuts, open bids still. Again, I know I say that all the time, but open bids seriously are the place to be on this market as well because um, there's just not as many people watching this game. So click around, you know, any type of card that's going to sell. I mean, there's a bid on Messi at 1.8 flat. Um, so any, any of these cards that are hype and that are going to sell because people want to use them are definitely going to rebound uh, back up and they will fluctuate around, especially if they're rare. So that's one thing I'd be watching out for today. But yeah, kind of like, I guess, an L content day on FIFA, man. This Maradona dropping so much because of the SBC, probably going to bounce back up a little bit. Same with Thierry Henry at some point today, because I think not a lot of people are actually going to want to go do that SBC in itself. So that is very, very interesting um, to see those movements and just very interesting to see where EA is pricing these cards and pricing the content on the game. I think that is just the biggest L and hopefully the content picks up a little bit later on this week. But as of right now, it's, it's looking a little bleak, uh, not meaning to rhyme right there, but that's a great word to describe what is going on in this game at the moment, at least with today's content. So if you're enjoying the market with a market crash and you're making some coins, GG's to you. I think that fodder investment is the next place to go with, you know, if you have some extra coins laying around. Seriously though, if you're not doing anything this week or you're bored, hop on these milestones. If you want something to do, it's in squad battles. It's very easy. You get on beginner, you do a couple games, you get a lot of packs for doing this. So it is very easy to do. It'll take you a little bit, but hey, you hit one of these PTG cards and tradable, and then you fill up your club with some 83s, 84s, and some fodder as well, which will help you out later on this week for if you do want to do some 82 plus player picks or um, if you want to do any of the other SBCs that should be coming out. Now, I'm going to be actually um, departing for a few days. You you might see some phone videos, right? I'm hopefully going to get some phone videos up. Um, I'll be at a little at a camp with Miss TFA, um, as you guys know. I talked about it in the stream and I'll, I'll make a tweet about it as well, but it might be, it might look a little different for the next two or three days, but we'll be back to normal on a Wednesday. So I will catch you guys then. Um, if not, maybe even sooner on one of the phone videos, you know, every time TFA goes away for a bit, we, we still upload to the YouTube, right? That's the way, that's the way it is. Uh, because this game is constantly changing, constantly moving and with these preview packs. I'm really interested to see how they impact the market this week. So we'll be watching that of course, and uh, talking about it all as it comes out. But I think today on Sunday, just not the kind of hype that we were looking for. The the Euros and the Copa America are going to kind of carry the hype as well, though, this week if the FIFA content is not that good. So that's going to make people want to look at those Path to Glory items. And again, I, I say this every every now and again, if a player that is playing in these games, like as we look at the, the top list on Footbin right now, um, this Pessina guy was number one on Footbin after he scored the goal today for Italy. They're up 1-0 in the 90th minute, but he scored in the 39th. Boom. His card instantly went to the top page of Footbin Popular. So when you're watching these Euro and Copa America games, especially the Euro games today on Monday or going into tomorrow on Monday, watch who scores, right? If Lukaku scores a banger, you're probably going to have some people that want to go and use that card that, you know, just got the third Belgian win in FIFA. So that's one thing I would seriously watch today because those cards move around on the market all the time. It's just like it happens during Champions League and during the World Cup is that those those cards that maybe aren't live, there's just hype in the game of, uh, of FIFA for what happens IRL. So definitely take a look at that as well. But I won't bore you anymore with this video, boys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit a like if you enjoyed it, and comment below if you have any questions. And uh, maybe comment below your rating out of 10 on how hype you are on this game right now. It might be a 1 or a 2, might be an 8 or a 9 because you're, li you're liking these uh, Path of the Way cards. And even today is a little bit of a setback. You're still pretty impressed with the content. Let me know down below. But it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.